Take this with you. Okay? We're going to go over to Mrs. Bowman's and play today, honey. Huh? You're going to have all ready to leave, Mrs. Huh? Baldwin. Okay. Do you have everything the baby's going to need? Yes, everything we talked about. Right. Are you sure you're going to be all right alone? I am going to be just fine. I've been looking forward to this night for a long, long time. Now, you have my phone number? Yes. I'll call you if there's any trouble. Okay, great. Can I have a kiss, honey? Give you want me a kiss? Mm. You'll be a good boy for Mrs. Bowman, okay? Huh? And tomorrow, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to have a big surprise for you. I'll call you before I come over in the morning. Uh, okay, fine. I love you, sweetie pie. Okay. I love you. You'll be a good boy. Okay? All right, let me take him in this arm. All right. Okay, fine. There, that's the big boy. Uh -huh. How you doing? Bye, honey. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm. Mm. Okay, bye-bye. I'm ready for you, Quartermains. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to I'm so, so glad I found you. Hi. Well, what is it, Alice? I've got to ask you a question. Well, go right ahead, please. Could Susan's physical condition affect her mental condition? In several respects, yeah. Why? I'm so worried about her. Why? She's upset? No, it, it's, it's like before the accident, all over again. She's drinking. No, no, she's acting very strangely, though. The other day, well, she turned on me, and she yelled, and she screamed, and she even threw me out of the house. Now, that's very different from what she's ever done before. She's barely ever raised her voice to me. What can I do to help you? Well, I'm going to drop by there later tonight, and I was wondering if you would come with me just, just to take a look at her. Tomorrow's observer, and I give you my opinion. Yeah, not to give an examination or anything, just to, you know, uh, hear what she says and see how she acts. Well, that'd be fine. Right now, we're sitting down to a nice dinner. Oh, listen, couldn't you let it wait just a little bit? This won't take long. Oh, Shaw, what's another 40, 50 minutes? Go do your thing. No, no, you're going to come with me, okay? Yeah, I think that would overwhelm her. That's not necessary. I'll just stay here and keep your dinner warm. Please, Dr. Weber. All right. Let's go. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Listen, and while we're at it, I want to talk to you about Heather. She's been acting strangely, too. Susan said she had an exclusive story on the Quartermains that Jackie might be interested in. Yeah, but I thought we already knew that. Wait a minute, let me finish. After I listened to the message, I went right over to the hospital and I confronted Monica Quartermain. She let it slip that she's being double-crossed by Susan. By going to Jackie? Right. Blackmail. A word came up. Is this gonna be enough? Well, it's, it, I, it's better. I mean, I wish I, I, I knew what she had on him. But at least there's a double-cross there, which... Which gives us something to go on. But will it stop her, Scotty? Well, I don't know. All I'm saying is some leverage, and at least now we can fight fire with fire. You're not answering my question. Okay, I'll put it to you this way. If this doesn't stop her, nothing else will. I knew we could do it, Scotty. Why don't you have a drink, Father? It'll calm your nerves. Believe it or not, I don't want a drink. But I do want some answers. Well, what happened? What did he say? Did he go for it? Well, we definitely know he's a quarter man. He didn't budge one inch. In fact, I think I even angered him more. He's going to be at Susan's tonight. Well, then they definitely are in cahoots. No, I don't know that for sure, because I was there when he got the call, and it sounded more like Susan was inviting him rather than collaborating with him. Another witness. That's all we need. I have an idea. <laughs> well, brilliant. Final hour. Let's not go. What? to go, Alan. We don't have to go. What's the point? We're not going to give her the money anyway. Monica is right, Alan. We do have to go. But we are not going to take that money with us. Now, some way or other, we'll find a way to convince her not to go ahead with this. I like that idea. Do we all agree? I know, I do. I'm with you 100%. The object of the exercise is to stop Susan. Any way we can. get over to the paper and type up some revisions, but I wanted to let Susan know it was going to be late. Oh, shoot. It's busy? Yes. Because I'm going to wait a second and call again. Uh, I sure hope she doesn't stay on long. Yes, damn it, we'll be there. Is that her again? The next time it happens, I'm going to let it ring. What did she want? 
Probably just twist the dagger a little more. That and to remind us to make sure that we are expected at exactly 10 o'clock. She's done that at least a hundred times. Let her have her fun while she can. We'll even that score tonight. Scotty, what are you going to do? There's only one thing to do. I'm going to stop Susan. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It was an important call. Oh, that's fine. Is there anything that you can tell me now? Just that I have a big scoop for you on the quarter mains. And if I were you, I'd be here. Oh, I will. I, I do need to stay to, at the paper till about 9, um, 9.15. Would it be a problem if I showed up a little later than we planned? Well, as long as you're here before 10. Uh, that should be fine. I'll try and get there about 9.30. Okay, fine. I'll see you then. Thanks. All systems go. <laughs> So I see. I, when did you come in? I didn't hear you. Just got here. Oh, well, you know, next time you could try knocking. Not my style. I'm rather fond of the element of surprise. Well, I'm not. I told you before, I don't like you sneaking up on me like this. You shouldn't have much longer to put up with it. Well, once is too much. What are you so jumpy about? I'm not jumpy. I mean, I wasn't at least till you came in. I don't like you scaring me like this. I've told you that. Relax. You'll live longer. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. We'll see soon enough. Who was that on the phone? What? The call you just hung up from. Oh, that. Who was it? Uh, the Quartermains. What did they want? I called them to, uh, just to be sure that they had the money and that they were still going to be here. All systems go. Right. Just like we planned. Just like. Listen, partner. We're on the home stretch on this one. The wire's no place to start getting funny ideas. What do you mean? Play it straight from here on in. I'm too old for tap dancing. I don't understand. I think you do. You're going to be holding some serious coin here tonight. Half of it belongs to me. Don't go cute on me. I haven't so far, have I? That's a question I was just about to ask. Come on. I've been straight with you right from the start. Not entirely. There's been a bend or two in your path on the way here. Like what? Like stalling about asking for the money from the quarter mains. Oh, come on. I wasn't stalling. I was just dangling the bait in front of them for a while. You could have lost the fish. Well, I didn't, did I? I like to play with them. I noticed. There was no harm done. Lucky for you. Look, you know, I wouldn't turn on you this close to the finish line. Well, yeah, that wouldn't be smart. And you are definitely a very bright young lady. That's why I'm giving you the papers. The original papers? Two million dollars worth. I'll take good care of them. You better, but don't hand them over until you've got every last dime of our money. I won't. Kind of burn a hole in your hands, don't they? Yeah, nothing like what they could have done to the quarter mains. No. You can't spend re revenge. I'm not complaining. Actually, I shouldn't have given them to you this early. But I wanted to make certain that I wasn't seen here by anybody. Well, it's still pretty early. I don't think there'll be a problem. <laughs> Of course, you don't need me anymore. You've got the goods. But I'll be around to help spend the profits. I intend to get my share. Well, you've earned it. Well, we both have. If you play the cards right tonight, good luck. Thanks. By the way, uh, next time you decide to I... drop in on me... It won't be long. You can bet on that. Okay, fine, but I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't sneak up on me. You nearly gave me heart failure. <laughs> we can't have that now, can we? At least not until after tonight. Oh, I love working with someone who's so sentimental. <laughs> yeah, business is business, but don't worry. This is the last night you'll ever be bothered by me. Um, like a shot of some courage to get you through the next few hours? No, thanks. I don't need it. Time. I'm running on pure adrenaline right now. Uh, probably just as well. I want you sober long enough to pull this off without a hitch. Me, I've got nothing to do but wait. No, I'm starting by celebrating a little early. This is going to be the best night of my life. Mine too. 